up everybody, this is Dave with MoGraph.com and iDesign. We're doing this whole little mashup. This is day one of NAB, here with Casey Hepke, and he just did his presentation. What was it about? Uh, so I titled it, Casey Hupke, an abstract on abstract motion design. Um, I work for BlackBerry Silence, and I mainly work in uh, the creation of data visualizations to represent things that are not physical. AI, firewalls, IP traffic, network interfaces, file storage. Someone needs to explain how that stuff looks, and I, uh, I have the privileged opportunity to be able to create that stuff. Now, this uh, Redshift announcement was this morning. Maxon has purchased Redshift. What do you think about that? I think it's great. I think it's great. I think all the stuff that's been sold to us thus far sounds amazing. I hope that it. Just, I hope that Redshift licensing stays the same. I hope that everyone that has access to it and all the DCCs never loses the access that they have, and Redshift continues to support all the applications. Because if it becomes a C four D specific focus thing, it'll. I think it'll hurt the product as a whole. But I know Maxon won't do that. Maxon, Maxon's a family. They're friends. They're, they support the community. They support the industry. They don't pretend like they're the only player in the business, and um, they just like playing with everyone. So as long as all the things that they've said are true and everything's happy, then I'm stoked. I, I mean, I'm stoked regardless, because I mean, I'm you know, just stoked. I am too. I think it's going to be great. Um, I also want to ask you a little bit about, in your presentation, you were showing off how you were doing renders just in the viewport, just hardware renders. Where do you think the state of that's going with video games being real time, Unreal, uh, all these different engines that allow you to do real time, where do you think that's going as far as, as client projects? I mean, I think there's a large world where um, that can take over pretty quickly. I think uh, if, you, if you were to take a tool like Unreal or Unity and make it more artist driven and artist friendly, um, you could do animated children shows. Um, you could very simply, because those things are syndicated 96 episode orders that just get done really quick. So if you can render at 35 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and 1080 4K with like RTX on or whatever, you can make a whole show in like, you're like, oh, I made this episode today. And you're, you just pump out a 15 minute episode. Where it will land for us, I feel like, I mean, I'll always try to cheat, every cut every corner I can, hack everything I can. But I love rendering a project with Redshift. But when I run out of time and and, uh, and hardware is working and looks good, like I'm I'm gonna use it. <laughs> but that's for my field. I don't do shoes. I don't do like product. I don't like none of my stuff. There's no reference to my stuff. It's just like that's a that's what AI looks like to me. And you can't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> it's like a dream or something. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So let's talk about Camp MoGraph a little bit. Are you excited to go? Yeah, I really want to go. I, 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 I was talking in the MoGraph.com Slack. Like one of the things that like I talk to a lot of people one on one with, um, and in groups and stuff sometimes is like mental health, anxiety, depression, imposter syndrome. Um, I still deal with that stuff personally, and um, it's it's a struggle. It's it's really hard to kind of reassure yourself sometimes that you know you're a valued person who means something to yourself and your family and that what you're doing in your career is important. As long as you feel that, and it, it's, it's an easy way to kind of get out of a funk, but man, if we don't all suffer from like, like waiting for someone to call us out for being fake or a phony or get caught doing something that we shouldn't like, or whatever, just like, you know, um, I think a lot of us, a lot of creative types, you know, they, uh, we suffer in our, in our brains quietly and don't talk about it. And I'd love to talk about that with, with more groups. And it'd be cool to do something out there, like a hike or something, or a yoga class, or, uh, or a workout routine or something, or, or just talk about it, like a fireside you know, mental health check. Um, I heard something, and go ahead and look this up if it's true or not. Um, the brain recognizes not knowing something as a pain receptor. So when you, when you think about the struggles that you go through when you're unsure or you don't know or you have doubt, your brain's telling you you're in pain. And that's what, something I try to remember uh, a lot. And it's like, okay, well, what's that? How do we figure this out? Like, let's, let's, let's tutorialize feeling good now. <laughs> like, like, you know, like the workout videos exist, but like, where's the, where's the, where's the GHG for emotional health? <laughs> well, it's at Camp MoGraph, I guess. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Camp MoGraph, there's going to be more details, campmograph.com, a lot more information coming soon. Now, if people want to find you online, where can they find you? xkcx.com, at Darth Casey on Twitter and Instagram, um, xkcx at me.com over email. All right, this is Dave from mograph.com, iDesign. Keep watching NAB 2019 show floor. See you later.